Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario. Uh, I was very stupid, so hopefully um, the sound is fixed this episode. I'm trying to remember to speak up because I am farther away from the microphone than I used to be and I noticed that sometimes I would be really quiet. Um, in addition to, obviously, the sound not working. Uh, why are we back here, you ask? Well, I was so frustrated at the last episode, I ended up um, accidentally shutting off the game before saving it after coming to this area, which I think there's even a save over there, so I could have just walked over there and saved it, but I did not. Um, and it was all the way back before, um, well, we had just gotten back to town after we had all our items, and I had just begun to put all the items away. So I went ahead, put all the items away again, took the nap, and I uh, figured now we can actually um, hear the rest of the things that the guy has to say if we want to. So, I think we have one more item to pull out so we can get to see everything that he has to say. I think we'll take that dried shroom out. Let's go ahead and take that. I keep using the hammer um, and getting it mixed up with the Z button because I've actually swapped the buttons that they were on. Uh, mostly for Mario Party because I've been playing that in my spare time and the B button is supposed to be to the left of the A button and I had them the other way around so that uh, there's kind of confusion visually on that game. Let's give that lemon we picked up. Okay, we've read this one and we've read that one. We want to know how to get to the ruins. I think we'll, we'll actually save our mushroom. I don't know if we have to actually ask what is required from him or if we can just go over there and do it because we know. This will be a good test. Let's find out. Oh, we don't. So you can do this by accident, if for some reason you want a dried shroom and a dusty hammer, um, before you even go to that side of town. What's this? I'll just walk through it, Mario. You're made of paper. I don't have to open the door all the way up. Can we go behind here? Nope. Hey. No Madam Mouse. Oh, Cooper didn't make it. Hello, sir. You never told us your name was Sheik. Well, this is cool. We do get a different um, 
you get a different set of, I think, text if you don't ask how to find a Matamas or uh, Mustafa from him. Yeah! Oh, look at this! You get- alright, you guys are gonna have to look at, um, uh, somebody playing through this, or play it through yourself. Will you actually ask him how to do, um, how to get to him? Oh, that's very cool! That was unexpected, but, yeah. Is so cool. Alright, so this is just one of the many things that I love about this game. So I've already told you guys about the vulture, which, um, depending on how you answer, will either uh, believe you, attack you, believe you and not attack you, or not believe you and attack you. And then obviously with the mouse there, there's the option of, um, basically you can do it without asking him how to get to him, and you'll get a different set of texts than if you had asked and gone through the route kind of, I guess, the right way. But they, it's not necessarily the right or the wrong way, they, they obviously intended for somebody, if, if you're playing through the, for the second time or whatever, or if uh, you just happen upon it in the game, they, they're they not going to begrudge you the fact that you figured it out or that you that you don't want to spend, you know, the lemon. You don't want to go down there and get the lemon. I think that is so cool. means that he dropped it right outside of Mustafa's house because the thing was just off to the side it's like oh yes I have a letter for you and he comes by and he picks it up and then not 10 feet from the house he drops it oh my gosh come on Paracary thank you sir we need those closer. Hmm. I need to remember not to use the directional pad because apparently, I don't know what it is. Uh, I didn't hit the A button, I was using the wrong button. Uh, I can't talk and play at the same time! Impossible! And my phone just beeped at me as well. What? My phone just reset! Oh gosh. Sorry about this, guys. This is really awkward. That was really weird. Thank you, die. I'm trying to time it. I got a message and my phone just like restarted and said it re-entered the area and there's no message in my message box now. That is really weird. Kill him. Cooper back out. We're gonna need him in a second. Oh, thank you for waiting for us, sirs. Okay, it's not beeping as much here, so we'll go back. Ah, 
the gauntlet. Ugh. We made it. Let's use the item and make the rocks swirl underground and make it dark out. This is just like Aladdin. Jane Chomp sculptures the twirl in place. He is aware of what is occurring. Oh, those silly stairs that operate on an impossible hinge. Oh, huzzah! I got you, heart. There's no save right here, is there? Well, we finally found Dry Dry Ruins. We can't. There's a star spirit here and a save block that we needed to use. Uh, we're in a new area. And he's powered up. Pokemon. So they became mummies before they came to the ruins. That's really interesting. Sounds good. it's only temporary. I've been through this dungeon a couple times where I haven't been poisoned at all. Oops. Failure. I was kind of hoping this would be one of those times. At least they're giving us more star points now, so we can level up again before we get to the boss. More coins! We don't need any more, really, but I'll take the hearts and stuff. Take everything else. We have the thing that we're gonna need for the rest of this place. I don't think our friend, like if we switch to Goombario, I don't think he can use it. Yeah, just Mario. Well, we aren't jumping on them anyway right now, so we don't need it at the moment.
One thing I like about these headphones, like my uh, Turtle Beach used to be, is uh, they have an exterior volume adjuster, so I can do that without messing up the volume for the game and my voice for you guys, which is nice. Key. There's a key right there and some creepy looking red protected things. Sand dripping from the roof. Another nice thing about this place is the mobs don't respawn. The enemy, uh, the enemies don't come back after you beat them. At least most of them. I think some of them might. We don't know. We'll find out. Nothing secret in here. 